murder case. Home of the underwater search unit is this cluttered room, more reminiscent of a fishing pub than Wapping police station. The job this morning is to search a river and its banks for a murder weapon. Yeah, I know. I've got a feeling the rest of us will be in the mud. Oh, yeah. It's not in the water. We're going to cast again. <laughs> The information is that the murder weapon is somewhere here. Oh, this is a nice bit of slush. All this water and mud has to be searched inch by inch. Well, it operations we get between 150 and 250 per year. So bearing in mind an operation can be a straightforward job where you go there and it points and you're in and it's all done in a couple of hours, or they give you a, an area like the Red Sea. Within minutes of reaching the waterside, the officers make a dramatic discovery. 20 live shotgun cartridges. They are not linked to the murder case, but what are they doing here? More police inquiries will have to follow. Who knows, you might even find the firearm that goes with it. The search unit are rarely surprised by what they find. We were called to a body floating in the canal, and uh, having got there, we hiked this one out, and then there was another one we found alongside it. We didn't know what they were. It looked like a body with no head on uh, when we first got it out because it was a bit decomposed. And then we couldn't work out whether it was animal or human. Eventually it turned out that what they were were two brown bears that had been uh, killed and skinned by a local taxidermist. And the, the bodies, because he'd taken the head, and the bodies were then just tossed into the canal. The search of the water is underway. Progress is painfully slow. What we've done, we've stretched a line across held by the two lads on the bank, and they'll use that as a guideline, and they work to the centre, and then the whole lot is moved forward a couple of feet, and then they... Uh, carry on searching back to the banks. Come on, my fella, where are you? Still no murder weapon, then a shout goes up. It's a rifle, an old 303. Not the weapon they want, but it could nonetheless be linked to crime. The search continues. There are times, especially in the winter, when you've been down for about 20 minutes, and if you're diving under ice or something like that, Oh, you think, what the hell am I doing down here? You can't see anything, you're wet, you're cold, you may have a hole in your suit, a piece of glass has gone through, and uh, you just think, what the hell am I doing here? Most of the, our dives are in nil visibility. Uh, it's basically our hands. And uh, I say they call us the best gropers in the business. Have you got a very good touch, do you think? I mean, do you know? Oh, yes, they've been well recommended. <laughs> <laughs> the other things that disturb you are, especially in the tie way, is a pair of ladies' tights. You get the, the motion of the uh, flow of the river, and over a period of time, the stockings or tights silt up. So you're there you are, grabbing away, no viz, you grab a foot, what do you think it is? So you've got to follow this up, you come to the end of a tight or a welly boot, I mean, it gets our heart going, you know. <laughs> Did you get any worse jobs than this? Not really. Uh, shallow work's always hardest, because you, you need the, you know, if you're, if you're on the bottom and a bit of water above, it's much far more comfortable. Right. Your neck aches a bit after time, okay. your back aches. Half an hour later, the divers uncover a bag containing passports. More material for the CID to check through and find out how on earth these ended up here. Much of the underwater search unit's work is finding bodies. They recover around 30 a year, and that means experienced officers will have dealt with hundreds in their career. Bodies, um, you never get used to them. The actual finding is not so bad, it's the waiting to find. It, it's waiting, you, you're still up to touch it all the time. I wasn't immediately involved in the Marshalness, so I came in the following day. It, it was just horrific, really. I'm never like to see anything like that again. It's quite tragic, really, that eventually, yes, I found one Wellington boot, then a further Wellington boot, and then, yes, eventually I found the child. 
the search of the water is nearly over. Ah, shit. A hard day's work and no murder weapon, but still one more discovery. Slightly the proceeds of a robbery. I mean, people don't throw away bags with silver and uh, jewellery cases in it uh, just to get rid of it. So it's got things in there that are identifiable, and we may well be able to, or the CID, local CID, may well be able to tie it up with uh, a robbery or a break in that's occurred. Not a bad day's haul. All will be handed over to the local police and followed up. But for the search unit, the hunt for the murder weapon goes on. What we've got to do this today is to clear the water side of it so we can work, work the bank. Tomorrow, in the mud tomorrow? In the mud tomorrow, yeah. All right. yeah a longer day tomorrow. <laughs> All right, there you go. OK, tough.